good day guys welcome to my youtube channel mm, in today's tutorial i'll be showing you guys how i did this it's not the flyer i'll be dropping video on how i did the flyer letter but in this tutorial i'll be showing you how i did the manipulation how i manipulated the background now this is combination of three different backgrounds so i'll be showing you how i did the manipulation from scratch so i'll be showing you so let's just log in back to our pixel lab i think i've done a video before on how to blend pictures on how to fade your picture with pscc so if you if you've not watched that video just go and watch that video so that you understand this manipulation because if you don't watch that video it will take you time to understand this manipulation so and i'll be dropping link so this background, not the background I use in this video, I'll be dropping link to them. So in the description of this video, just check it there, you will see it. So this is the first background I used. And also I'll be sharing tips on how to manipulate background. Not just starting, but things that need to be considered first. In terms of manipulating background. Now this background, let me show you the original one. Let me see your face. Okay, I'm coming. Let me just show you the background. Then I show you the strategy or the tips. Okay, look at the background here. Look at the background here. I see. Now let me bring in the flyer. Just, just stay with me. Because if you know this thing easily, you'll be able to manipulate any background, even if it's not a uh, flyer design. Now, the now if you're doing a flyer, what should determine the background, or what should determine the the attractive points of the old, the old flyer is the theme. And now this theme says engulfed by fire, four hours of prayer stretch. Now, in these places, you can use two things. You can use a praying background or use fire. But since the team is fire, I decided to work with fire. Now you get to me. So if you're at that moment now, your background should be able to interpret your team. Yes, it should be able to interpret your team, what you're working with. So this is the fire background. This background also is another background. This is another background also. I man I use I worked it, I worked on it with PSCC before I imported it to this place. So I added this one, and this is another background also. Then let's bring in the last background. This is the last background. What I did, I just drag this background, drop it at the down parts, then take it to back. Are you seeing that we've gotten that that effect that we're looking for? Okay. Now we've gotten that effect that we are looking for. Now this fire background, all you need to do now is to what? Is to what? Play around it. Is it that you can drop it, shift it, and bring it up a little bit, or you take it down? But I prefer I prefer this background to be dropped at the center or somewhere here. You lock it. Then now I downloaded particles of fire just to interpret the background more particles of fire now i did this before but it doesn't work this background did not give me what i needed so what i did is this i entered my shape then i went to my sorry then i went to my gradients i tap on my plus sign then i reduce this other side of the place i reduce to be transparent make it to be black this other side, I, I made it to be pure black. Then what I did, I brought this other transparent aspect of it a little bit inside. Brought this out, brought this one out a little bit. Then I took my good. Then I went to my texture. I imported the particles of fire. Imported the particles of fire. This is it. Let me just work with this one. I did my good then from here I dragged it a little bit and dragged it a little bit 
now if you drop it here the the edges of the the black will be showing so what you do is just bring it down a little bit and then you do your good so guys this is how i achieve that background that you're seeing let me bring in the main flyer so that you'll see that there's no difference between the background because most times if you're unable to get a perfect background for your work it also give your work unprofessional look which it won't be nice so you see the two backgrounds you see this place now this dark this dark aspect that you're seeing now if you're not okay if you want to get if you want to make it to be pure dark what you just do is to copy that first layer then delete the texture from it make it to be pure black then come to your opacity reduce it a little bit then after you're done with your designing then go to Lightroom work on it. I've, I've also done a video on how to retouch background But we're doing the pro version recently. So just just keep tuned to this channel So this is how I manipulated this background You can see there's no difference between the church flyer and the background So if this is your first time of coming to my youtube channel, please can you subscribe? Share this video with your friends. Thank you for watching. See you guys in my next tutorial